welcome to the third episode of Community Battlecast Primetime. I'm your host, Nod Soldier Girl. In this episode, we have news, community artwork, a mod spotlight, and a special segment you've all been asking for. First up is the news. EA Sire has posted two new music surveys for the General Series and for the Red Alert Series. Let yourselves be heard, Commanders. Community Battlecast Primetime goes social. You can now follow Community Battlecast Primetime on Twitter and on Facebook. Twitter.com slash CBCPT and Facebook.com slash CBCPT. And if you're watching this, you're on our new YouTube channel just for Community Battlecast Primetime. I hope you like it and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the latest episodes. The new CNC Red Alert LEGO wallpaper is the seal. Head on over to cncnz.com to get the correct size you need to CNC your screen. Now, it's CNC artwork time. First up, we have a piece from TX2100EX9 called Command and Conquer. This would really make a sweet wallpaper. Our next one is Transformers CNC from Knight's Fury. This mixes Transformers and CNC. Next up is two unique ones from Botskiz. Nod Defense Initiative using the GDI logo and making it Nod and Global Brotherhood using the Nod logo and making it look like the Talon of the GDI bird. Just a little bit more info on these is that they were made from scratch. Very epic. This next one is a movie poster for CNC made by Flight Crank. It looks sweet and I really wish they would actually make a movie. If you're into card games, then this next one is a piece for you. An Ion Strike card made by Ryu Quad Axis. One of the last pieces I have is from Counselor. It's a Tiberian Twilight cover. It looks good too. Too bad CNC 4 wasn't better. Alright, now the last one I have goes all the way back to CNC 3. If you remember that game, Wait a minute, of course you remember that game. Moving right along to one of our new segments is the Mod Spotlight. Renegade X has posted the seventh community Q&A. Check it out at renegadex.com. Contra Mod for Generals has new units and structures, and one new unit is the Raven. It's a combat drone, and the USA Comm Center is one of the new structures. You'll be able to see more on their Mod DB page. Red Alert Synergy. The mod has stopped due to unknown reasons. It's a real shame, too. Hoping that someone else will start this mod up again. I have worked on mods that didn't work out, and I can tell you, it's no fun. Tiberian Genesis. New video featuring all new screenshots. Head on over to their Mod DB page to see more. Tiberian Apocalypse, new mammoth tank, the M-28 Mammoth, and also the GDI Heavy Orca Ox. Check out their Mod DB page for more info. Now, on to the event you've all been waiting for. The Battlecast 5! Or rather, the Battlecast 3. In every episode, we will bring you three replays from the community. If you have one to be featured, please send them to my email at knobsoldiergirl at hotmail.com. Welcome to the Battlecast 3. I am Cyber. These three games come from the GameReplays.org CNC3 2v2 tournament. First off, in game one, we have on the top side, Maze, the orange GDI, and Wanted, the pink screen. On the bottom team is Killer, the blue screen, and his partner, Skip, the yellow GDI. The map is, of course, Red Zone Rampage. Three of the four players start off by getting a fast buzzer or rifleman squad. The early infantry squads face off around the map. Skim attempts to sneak an engineer and an APC into Wanted's base, but Devourer tanks push it out. Both Skrin players immediately start spamming Devourer tanks and mix in some corruptors to provide a healing backup. Killer's Devourers move into Maze's base, but Maze chases them out with Predator tanks, Orcas, and Sonic Emitter. Wanted pushes to Skim's base with his Devourer Corruptor combo, and is eventually beaten back by a combo of Predator tanks, Missile Squads, Juggernauts, and a Sonic Emitter from Skim. A refinery base creep from Maze allows him to get up close and personal to Killer. Killer moves out with his alien army. Maze pumps out some high-tech mammoth tanks and Juggernauts, and he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Killer. Skim base creeps towards Wanted with some refineries before or massing juggernauts to bombard Wanted's base from afar. However, Wanted throws down a gravity stabilizer, gets annihilators, and harasses Killer's harvesters with some seekers. 
Killer defends his harvesters with devourers, but Maze is closing in on his base with juggernauts. Killer sees defeat looming and leaves the game. Annihilators and Devastator warships from Wanted take on Skim's juggernauts. Skim realizes he needs to control the skies, so he gets Firehawks, using their air-to-air -air missiles to take down some Devastators. With Maze closing in from the right and Wanted pushing in from the top, Skim has no choice but to throw in the towel. Game 2 is played on Backwater Brawl. We have left versus right this time, with Maze as the orange GDI and his teammate Wanted, the blue GDI. On the right side is Skim as yellow GDI and Killer as Cyan GDI. That's right folks, this match is strictly GDI. Early rifle squads take up fortifications in buildings or foxholes. Engineers are sent out to capture Tiberium spikes, but Skim has a different plan up his sleeve. Loading engineers into APCs, he sends them into Maze's base. One engineer is killed trying to grab a refinery, and the other forces Maze to sell off his war factory. Killer is the first to get some Predator tanks on the field, but they are met by wanted mass missile squads. Killer utilizes a Harvester and Predators to reverse move over the missile squad. Skim and Maze then base creep towards each other before exchanging rounds with Predator tanks. Skim flies in an engineer and takes Maze's MCV. With no MCV and Skim closing in fast, Maze leaves the game. Killer decides it's time to take to the skies. Meanwhile, Wanted techs up to Juggernauts and Zone Troopers. Wanted base creeps with airfields and lays down some sonic emitters. Killer's forces fall, as does part of his base, and Killer leaves the game, rendering this a 1v1. Wanted's Juggernauts take out Skim's northern base. Wanted's forces continue to close in, and Skim calls the game done. Starting off game three is top right versus bottom left on downtown Dust Bowl. Starting in the south, we have Skim as the yellow GDI and his teammate in the west is Killer, the purple GDI. Moving on to the north side of the map is Wanted as the red nod and in the east is Maze, our orange GDI. The players send out their early infantry to fight mini battles for some map control. In the north, Wanted starts massing scorpion tanks and advances towards Killer's base. Will this scorpion push kill the killer? No, because his mass pit bulls are able to shove Wanted out. Wanted makes it back to his base and throws a Help Wanted sign on the door. He is rewarded by massive amounts of militant rocket squads. Meanwhile, Maze moves in with a sizable army on Skim's base from the east. Wanted tries a two-pronged attack with scorpions and rocket squads, but an emergency refinery from Skim cuts down the militant infantry. Killer decides it's time to go on the offensive and reverse moves his pit bulls. The pit bulls take out Maze's economy and move on to attack Wanted in the north. Maze doesn't care that he lost his harvesters because he's carving a hole into Skim's base. Wanted has recruited more rocket squads and is aiding his way through Killer's base. Killer brings up some APCs and watchtowers to deal with the missile squad, but to no avail. The flanking scorpion tanks move in from the west to help end Killer's base. Skim has finally gotten enough rifle squads and predator tanks to clear out his own base. Wanted destroys the pit bulls and the rest of Killer's base. With only a flaming refinery left, Killer leaves the game. Maze had to sell off most of his buildings to get more refineries, so he has only infantry to attack Skim with. Skim sends off pit bulls to harass Wanted and Maze, but Wanted has a huge force of rocket squads, scorpions, flame tanks, and a few venoms closing in fast. This huge attack is enough for Skim to leave the game. That makes this a 3-0 shutout for Maze and Wanted. Good job all around. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. As for Community Battlecast Primetime, we are going to try to post one every two weeks or so, depending on news. Links to everything that was featured are in the description. Feel free to leave a comment on this video with your feedback, positive or negative. As always, if you have artwork or CNC news you would like featured, then email me at nodsoldiergirl at hotmail.com. Stay tuned, and see you on the battlefield.